Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising. I loved Neighbors, so obviously I was pretty pumped to see Neighbors 2. Add to that some really funny, fun gags in the trailers, and I was hooked. I was ready. I wanted to see this movie. And it more than delivered. It added so many aspects that I wasn't really anticipating going into the film, but it pulled them off so well. What a fun movie. So clearly the premise is very similar to the original Neighbors. We have this sorority that moves in next door to the same exact married couple with a small baby. And surprisingly, they're able to add so much new meaning and context to the storyline that it doesn't feel stale. It doesn't just feel like a reissue of what we've already seen. And our cast plays a big role in making sure that it still feels fresh. We're just invited back into these people's lives and then we add on to it. So starting off with Seth Rogen, I thought he was great. I think he's very charming, very lovable in this role. Rose Byrne, not quite as funny, not given as much to do in this movie as she was the first time around, but still good. I love Rose Byrne always and forever, so anytime I get to see her in a role, I'm happy. And then Zac Efron, it's just unfair how insanely good looking Zac Efron is. I don't even think it should be legal to be that freaking attractive. But other than the outside, I think this is his most successful role today. I thought he was great in The First Neighbors. And really, it's been the only successful film that he's able to release, period, pretty much since High School Musical. But he's just so good in this role and in these movies. And in this movie, he plays such a self-aware character. I love that they played off of his sexuality and his sexual prowess and just how good looking he was. And really, he was game for everything that they had to give to him. So I loved it. I loved his role here. And I just, I want to see him channel this success into other films and make them as funny as the Neighbors movies have been. But then we also get Chloe Moretz, who is in the movie for the first time. She was also very, very good. I loved her little character, sometimes a bit on the nose, but overall, she pulled it off. She was solid. But what really makes this movie such a resounding success in my eyes is not only is it the raunchy comedy that we got with the first Neighbors film, it maintains the hilariousness of the first movie and the raunchiness of the first movie, but it adds so many layers. First of all, it adds a lot of feminism in here, which the first movie you pretty much completely just overlooked, dismissed, didn't even bother touching or thinking about. And this movie does it in such an authentic, nice way. It is a little bit abrasive and in your face, but they weave it in so well that I think everybody's going to be able to accept it. It's all part of the joke. Everybody's a part of the joke. And the PC-ness of it all also comes into play to be a joke in of itself. But it goes so much further than just dealing with sexism. It also deals with sexuality. We had an authentic character who just happened to be gay in this movie. It works beautifully. They didn't make a big deal of it. They just moved on. And I loved that aspect. Race plays a small role, but the different kinds of prejudices is played with here. And I also thought that was great. Who's allowed to say what plays on that wonderful stuff. But also, the stigma of Greek life is addressed in this movie, and it's addressed so well. What does it mean to actually be in a sorority if you don't fit in? If you, what are you looking for? Are you looking for the parties? Are you looking for true sisterhood? And it really helps to break down some of those stereotypes that I think Greek life gets in general. But as I said, this is basically a retread of the first film plot-wise. So we're not getting anything new here. Don't expect Neighbors 2 to reinvent the wheel or go in a vastly new direction as a sequel. It stays true to the formula that worked the first time around. It just works on adding those extra layers of depth and giving this franchise now 
more hearts and more feeling. It makes you really feel what these characters are going through this time. And I think the only other negative other than the retread factor on the plotline is that we also retread some of the jokes here. So some of them are either exactly the same as how they were in the first movie or slightly altered, pretty much the same, but we're gonna impose this person here or put this object in place of the object that was here the first time around. Uh, same concept of hazing type thing. And most of them, unfortunately, weren't as funny as they were the first time around, and that's usually what comedy sequels suffer from is they retread jokes and they're just not quite as good the next time around. But overall, this has enough original jokes. It does the, the retreads well enough that I was laughing consistently throughout with some really strong laughs in there. So overall, I can't recommend Neighbors 2 enough. I think it is such a good thing to have a dirty, raunchy style comedy that's a hard R, have so much to say about so many different uh, topics that are relevant to society and do them so well without being preachy and in your face, just organically getting them into the script and making you go along with it without feeling like you're making political statements left, right, and center. So I give Neighbors to a full price theater ticket. I think it'll make for a fun Saturday or Friday night. So, that has been my review of Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below, and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Neighbors 2? And what did you think of Neighbors? Also, do you think Zac Efron has pulled off any films since the success of High School Musical? Let me know, either in the comment section, down below, or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!